Give me a minute. I want to address my buddy Gerald Thomas's question here. Uh, he had seen a report that Avdivka had fallen and he wanted an update. So, Gerald, if you take a look at this map, this is Deep State's map. Uh, this is dated the 19th of January. Today is January 21st, uh, day 697 of Russia's war of aggression against the people of Ukraine. And so if we go back in time two days, today 695, on the 19th, uh, if you look, see those arrows uh, over there, that represents a Russian advance. Now, I, I zoomed in to this particular part of the southern front of Avdivka because this is the only place on the map around Avdivka where the Russians have made any progress. So this is the 19th. Let's advance the map to the 20th. There it is on the 20th. Not much different, right? How about on the 21st? Not much different. I mean, it. I mean, they did move a little bit in there, right? And I think I reported on this, it was about 0.1 kilometers of ground gained. 0.1 one tenth of one kilometer. That's a 10 meter by a hundred meter strip of land. It's, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's a tenth of a football field. So look, uh, however, uh, Gerald, it is worth pointing out that the Russians released uh, claims, made claims that they had taken Avdivka. They even released video of uh, Russian men marching and claiming it was into Avdivka, then they showed video of what was clearly Avdivka. The only problem is that video has found to have been shot by the Ukrainian armed forces. It's just stolen, just lifted, and they're making these ridiculous claims. Now look, Avdivka's under a lot of pressure. This zone right here is a KZ. As many as 514 Russian soldiers have met their end in one day in this fighting. And it's been going on for three months now. Three months, four, wait, October, November, December, January, three months. Three months of this nightmare. And the Russians are continuing their, their pattern. They're just using artillery to level all the buildings one block at a time, one block at a time leaving themselves nowhere to hide when they advance. And uh, just they just keep pouring bodies in there. It's a tragedy. It's a sin. It's, it's wrong. And then they crow that they've, made a, that they've made a success of it. Have they forgotten all the lessons of Bakhmut? Because this is exactly what they did in Bakhmut. And let's remember how that turned out. I know the Russians like to crow about Bakhmut like it was a big success. Let's remember it ended with Russian tanks on a highway an hour and a half from Moscow. It ended in insurrection. The Southern Military Command of Russia in the hands of an insurrectionist. And a few months later, Eugene's fireball in the sky. And the end of Wagner. Success? Not by any definition I know of. And they're doing the same thing here. And the Ukrainians who do not have the lives to throw away like the Russians do will continue to mow down these meat waves as they come in uh, and retreat as necessary to preserve their own lives. Could Avdivka fall? It could fall. Um, but there is no evidence to suggest that that has happened today. Thanks for the question, Gerald.